Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Roxanon. Today we're doing an album review and we're doing the latest Britney album that came out last year and we're doing Glory. And I needed it because I just listened to Britney Jean. I was like, look, I need to listen to this song, this album ASAP. So we're going to listen and it's going to be awesome. So, the very first song off of Glory is going to be Invitation. So let's listen. Already a thousand times better than Britney Jean off the first five seconds of this epic album. I love her falsetto voice so much and it's just amazing I'm sorry I keep pausing but it's such a good song Such a fantastic song. This is a, a plus, 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 plus. 10 out of 10. Actually, 11 out of 10. It's so damn good. I love this song. I love her breathy vocals in it. I love her upper register. I love everything about the song. It is fantastic. The switch ups, the ad libs, just everything about it is so effortless for her in the song. It's just an effortlessly amazing, epic song. Yes. <laughs> uh, actually, this would be actually a really good album opener if she went on tour with this album. I feel like that could have been the very first, you know, introduction to um, the tour opener song. This is so good. Or do they invitation slash break the ice? I'm already thinking of tour ideas, and I don't know she, what she's going to do after this res residency. But anyway, so the next song we're going to get into is Make Me featuring g Easy. I need to tell you something. I love the guitar in the song so much. It's so good. It's just like an instant hook. It just hooks you in and she goes, Friday. I love that so much. And um, look, I'm dreaming of Malamin about somebody. I love that type of song so much. This is already a good song. Let's keep listening. Sorry, I keep pausing it, but I like this a lot. Or little bars, really not a difference if it's near one of 
stretch off limits Staring at you till I'm caught in this Back and forth like this was all tennis Ain't just coming See, I can tell that you're a dangerous woman That means you're speaking my language Come on, now follow me, yeah, I know That's why they keep on telling me to let go Yeah But I need you and I Said I need you and I can take you All the way and I'm able Another great song on this. Another A plus is so good. Um, I don't like it as much as Invitation. That is still epic to me. But Make Me is still really, really good. I love the beat. I love the guitar. I like the little switch up in there. I like G's Easy's verse in there. It's a really, really fantastic song. I really do like it a lot. But I just like Invitation just a little bit more. But I do love Make Me, though. So, um, the next song we're going to jump into is Private Show. Definitely different, like a 50s type. I just love how, like, she's in your face in the song. It's so good. It still kind of catches me off guard, even though I listen to this song about like 50, 60 times, but still, great song. I love her little mini rap in there. It's so freaking cool. I love that. Sorry, I keep pausing, but still, so many good things are happening. That little vocal run right there, epic. Straight up epic. Such a good song. Oh my god. Um, I'm going to give this an A. There's just a little bit. I feel like it's on a little bit of voice thingy making it a little bit too high pitch for me. But other than that, fantastic song. And that only high pitch part was in like a couple little parts that wasn't like that severe where I feel like I just want to gouge my ears out. But I really, really, really do like the song. I won't, so I'm gonna give it an A because I like the I like the beat. I was like how it's like 50s type of doo wop stuff, and this is not like it's like cohesive, but it's not. It has different genres in there, but it fits together in this album so far, and I really, really, really like it a lot so far. So the next song we're gonna listen to is "Man on the Moon." Okay, hit those French words, girl. 
ก็เฮWhen I actually when I first listened to this album, I didn't like the song as much, but it's a grower, and I actually I grew to actually really really like the song a lot. Um, it's probably one of my least played on this album, but it's, I think my least played song is about sixty, you know, listens to it, and that's not including in, in the car. So <laughs> anyway, this is a really good song, and it's a very descriptive song where I feel like I can just picture the music video in my head. I won't go into details because that's going to take too damn long. But anyway, the song is great. I love, like, she's, you can hear, her, it's like, it's just her in the backing track. Like, it's her in the, in the um, background singing part as well. And you hear her, like, just saying, listen to the saddest songs. And you hear her say, and cry. And just stuff like that. Just as it makes it more special of a song, I feel like. So this is a really good song. The albums were great. The song is great. The lyrics are really good. And um, I like the play on words and stuff. I really do like that a lot. And just when she hit those um, fritch words, I don't know what she was saying, but that was, again, very good as well. So the next song we're going to listen to is Just Love Me. And this is probably one of my favorite songs. It's actually one of my ringtones on my phone. I'm already done. And it's four seconds in. I'm already done. <laughs> it's so good. I feel like this is probably one of her best songs. I cannot stop tearing up with this song. I don't know why, right? I don't know why right now. I can't even talk right. This song is literal perfection. I like it almost as much as, well, just, just as much as Invitation. It's so good. I feel like she, it sells in the mid-tempo so, uh, slash almost upbeat. I feel like that's where she excels at as of in this um in this stage in her career is so flipping good i cannot tell you this is like 11 out of 10 it's like a plus 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 it is excellent her albums at the end are so effortless and so amazing the song is just that it's just effortless 
It is so epic and so flippin' good. Oh my dear God, it is so awesome. I love this song so much. I wish this was a single. It, I think it would have done super well on the radio. I really, really do. And so we're going to jump into the next song, and the song is called Clumsy. Actually, I like the callback to Oops, because it's obvious callback to Oops, and that's why people do like this song a lot, because um, it goes to Oops, I did again. So anyway, I really do like this so far. fantastic song. I will give this one. And also uh, A is really good. Um, just a little bit in there that I didn't like so that it doesn't make an A plus but other than that it's still a great song. I'm very picky with my music. Um, I do like this song a lot. I do like her ad-libs. I like how she's just like hitting those notes like it's no issue. It's almost like Britney Jean never happened. Because like the first six, these first six songs out of this amazing album are eclipses the entirety of Britney Jean. Uh, anyway, this is such an excellent song, and she's just hitting note after note after note, and it's like strong notes. It's not like weak or feeble or breaky or anything. It's just excellent, excellent vocals on this song. I saw on this album so far. Um, so the next song. It's going to be, do you want to come over? Uh, before we do jump into that, jump on to that. Um, I, want, I, do, I do disagree with people when they say this is a banger. This is not a banger. It, the bass is not as hard as a banger should be. Uh, it's a, still an excellent song, but when people were first reviewing this album, they said this was a banger. It's not. To me, it's like, um, it's a tempo, but it's not a banger. The banger that's coming up is, do you want to come over? Let's get that straight. This is the definition of a banger. Uh -huh. Hear that bass? That just kicks in so quick. I love the guitar in the song as well. It's very excellent. And the beat itself is on par. I love this breakdown. Pre-chorus. Oh, 
another excellent song. It's so good. I'm gonna give this an A plus. It's super good. I love. A lot of people don't like the the guy shouting in it, but I love it. I think it's great. I love the beat. I love the guitar. I love the ad libs. I love um, Julia Michaels' um, background vocals in there. It's really good. It fits with the song, unlike some songs off of Britney Jean where the background vocalist sounded. No. This one, it works super good. I love the song a lot. I'm surprised it wasn't a single or and stuff. Because, anyway, super awesome song. I love it too much. So this is going to be in the part one because stuff. <laughs> so the next song we'll be jumping into is Slumber Party featuring Tanashi. <laughs> or Tanash. Tanashi? Tanasha something? I forgot how to say her name. Sorry in advance. My bad. <laughs> actually said the F word in an album before. That's crazy in itself. I, when I first heard that, I was like, what? I didn't know she was actually cursing in this, um, on this album. So I really do like that, um, actually. Because it took her eight albums to say the F word. <laughs> um, anyway, I really do like some so far. And it does remind me of Hotline Bling. I'm going to kick it back to the song now. Another A-plus song. So freaking good. I love this song so damn much. Um, I forgot I had to push the video, so I had to knock that out super duper quick. Uh, so if you saw my eyes being all wonky, whatever, sorry about that. But this song is so good. It does remind me of Hotline Bling by Drake. Still an excellent song. And I love Tanasha's um, verse, or Tanashi's voice in this. is so freaking good. Um... I just love everything about the song. The ad libs, like, I just want to say her vocals are very on point and they're effortlessly good. That's why it's like she's been, it's just, it's like, this is just like a natural album for her so far. It's so good. I love the songs to death so far. So, this is another A plus song. So, we're going to jump into the next one. And it's called Just Like Me. Love the guitar already. Just like me, just like me. 
Another excellent song. I'm going to give this another A. It is so good. I just got a little bit of a pitch issue. That's, that's not it. Um, I love this song because I like how it tells a story. And that's what I was trying to get at earlier with the earlier songs like Man on the Moon. And um, what was the other song? I said that I was picturing it in my head. I think it was off the other album. But um, I just love how um, a bunch of these songs are actually kind of... Um, they tell a story and you can just kind of picture it in your head, like how she's just like driving to see her her significant other and how she's like so excited and she's warming up her tongue, so you know, her lunch she's so happy and when she opens the door she's like, what the, why do you look like, what are you doing and how does she look like me? <laughs> and so that's kind of messed up, but um, I do like the song a lot, it's such a good song. Um, so yeah, we're going to jump into the next song, and it's called Love Me Down. Sounds really good. I will say this has a little bit of a Gwen Stefani vibe in there, which actually I kind of like. Um, but let's keep listening, but so far so good. freaking love the song I love this part where she goes she's hitting that little just a little breath vocal there and a little bit of octave down then just a little bit more down I was, oh my god and when she was like when she goes la la love me la la love me love me that you know I love that I can't sing so I'm not going to try to do that again but the song is already perfection we're only in like a minute in I'm already in love Oh, I love that little register right there. some notes and those notes were heaven it was pure heaven this song is so good 11 out of 10 a plus 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 is just so perfect and i love like when you can structure a song like the last like um like 45 seconds of the song where it almost sounds almost messy but it's so good in that sense because she's doing alice she's doing the last vocal track she's doing this she's doing that it all works for this song. Most times, like I said before, some songs are super messy because they don't know how to coordinate stuff. This one made it, like, there was no, like, um, there wasn't a lot of overlap in there, and I really do like that stuff for the ad libs because that, go, that just goes over the vocal trap. But this is just literal perfection. So good. I love the song so much, and I wish this was a single, too, because I would have, well, I don't finish up the songs, but... She should have just done a video album, like an anthology or something for this album, because it's just literal perfection, and I'm in love with this album. All right, so the next song we're going to listen to is Hard to Forget Ya. Yeah. 
So this song was super freaking good. I loved the song so much. Okay, something weird is happening on this thing. I don't know what's happening yet. Um, such a good freaking song. I loved it so much. Hang on. Okay. I don't know what just happened there, but something weird happened. Uh, the song is really, 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 really good. Uh, I'll give this um, an A. I'll just give it an A. There's just a couple of tweaks in there I didn't like, but um, other than that, really good song. I have nothing really bad to say about it. Um, so we're just going to jump into the next song, which will be What You Need. So good, I love it. Let's keep listening. See, this song is so good, it's, and she said it best. That was fun because it's a fun song, but it's very vocal driven. She was using, she had this growl, this type of like authority, like, you're going to listen to this song. I got what you need. And I just love this song so much. It's very in your face. And I, I really do like it. And it's using like, like her really good voice in there, her lower register. So I'll give this another, it's another A for me. I really do like it. So we're probably going to go into probably one of my favorite songs and that is better. So let's listen. A plus song is so good. I love the tropical beat in there. It's so good. And just everything about the song is perfection. I love the song to death. It is so freaking good. And it, I'm just in awe over this album. And I've been listening to this for like over a year. <laughs> Almost a year. It'll be a year tomorrow. Okay, awesome. Um as of recording this video, it probably won't be up for another like three or four weeks. But anyway, um, like I said, awesome album. I really like this album so far. <laughs> anyway, so the next song is going to be Change Your Mind, No Seas Cortez. So let's listen. I love the guitar on this track. I love that note she's doing. I'm not going to repeat it, but it is so freaking good. I love the switch up in here as well. Take it, 
I like this part. Brilliant song. I love this beat. It's just so different for her. I love it so much. And I love um, the um, Spanish speaking part in there as well. I love this song so much. I'll give this another A plus song. So good. So um, just everything about it is really good. I just, just her inflections on the song, her being effortless vocals on it. Just everything about it is so good. So the next song we're going to listen to is Liar. What the song to? I will say I love the violin in here as well. I feel like it fits the song so well. And you can tell she's super angry in the song, which I like as well. So let's keep listening. Love this right down. Bridge, whatever. Another really, really good song. It's so good. And you can tell she's very mad in the song. But I really do like the I like the Western beat. I love the I just love everything about the beat. It's super, super duper good. I got to adjust. I'd say I'm cr um, cross legged. Ugh. Got it. <clears throat> anyway, the song is so damn good. Um just everything about it's good. The alloes, just the the inflection of it, just everything about it is amazing. I'm gonna give this another A plus. So we're gonna kick into the next song, which is If I'm Dancing. Crazy beat, but I like it. Another really excellent song. If you heard about your scratching, other than the song that was my dog getting up. <laughs> he always wants attention. Anyway, this song is really good. I'll give this a, another, I'll give this an A song. 
There's just a little, couple little things in there which I didn't really like, but other than that, great song. The beat's actually really good. Some people are kind of iffy on it. Like some people are kind of like uh, they kind of like it, but kind of don't. Like in certain elements of it's really good. Other comes, it's a little annoying, but I kind of like it as a whole. Um, really, really good song. Um, a lot of nonsense in there, but I kind of like it. It's just a fun party song, like fun dance, and the music's good. Um, so the next song is going to be Capure Electric. It's uh, French, and then the song is also the entire song is sung in French, which I freaking love. So let's listen. Also, the beat itself is sick. It's so freaking amazing. This is where the beat gets so sick, it's so... Oh my god, I just, I'm sorry I keep pausing, but it's just an epic song. So good. So freaking good. You don't understand how good this song is. It's like a literal 20 out of 10. It's so flipping good. I just wish it was longer. It was so good. It was just I don't know what in the world she'll sing, but it was that B, just her inflection of it, her high notes, her falsetto, all on point, all amazing. And so the final song. Because I bought the um, Japanese version and it came with the song Moo Ring. So we're going to listen to that and that'll be the closer. This beat is already sick and I love it already. Great song, another great song. Give us another A plus. It's so good. Okay, there we go. This song is so good. I love her alibs at the end. She was just running alib after alib after alib. So good. Just 
the way the song is done is done beautifully. I love the song to death. And that's the end of the album. Yeah. Uh, so, honestly, I could rate this album an A-plus album. It is so good. I pretty much love every single song off of it. And it'll be a year tomorrow that it was released. And it's so good. Um, as of the time of recording. <laughs> anyway. And I kind of needed a little filter because I listened to Britney Jean. I was like, look, I gotta listen to something really good, okay? So anyway, this has been an awesome album. I've loved everything in this album. Everything's just been so freaking good. I've loved every single minute of it, pretty much. And, yeah, this is the A-plus album. And this is, like, my second or third one. I said it's, like, A-plus of the album, period, because I've done other albums, but this won't be up because I wanted to do these first and then just go off and do my other like one-off albums that I have of other artists. So unless y'all want me to do other artists, let me know down below what you think. If you actually made it this far, I appreciate you watching all of this mess. And I gotta cut this way down because it's like this is like well over an hour long. I gotta cut it down to like at least a half hour, maybe 45 minutes. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Because everything is so good, I feel like I want to include everything in here, but um, I have to do some serious cutting of stuff. So, anyway, um, if you like this video, please comment down below on what you think and give it a like. And then subscribe for more stuff that I will be doing. Because I want to go over CD singles as well, and that should be a lot of fun. So, join me next time, and please have an awesome day, because I really did enjoy doing this, out, this video of this album, because it was super good. Alright, I want you to have an awesome day. I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.